Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this morphing animation. And the great thing about this is it uses something called morph object tagging, which allows you to morph between shapes or graphics. So let's jump into it. So the first thing we're going to do as usual, new blank presentation, layout, blank slide. We'll now get the background. And for this, I'm going to go to format background, change it to picture fill. This lovely texture comes in first as default, but we're actually going to press insert, stock images, and we'll type texture. And these will be high resolution and much better to use than the built-in textures in PowerPoint. So I'll go for this one here. It will automatically size it to full screen. Looks good. Now let's draw the shapes. So we'll start with a circle. We'll click to put it there. I'm going to go to my size and I'm going to choose six centimeters. I'm now going to make it have no fill and I'm going to make the outline black. I'm now going to go to the line and I'm going to make it 20 point. Finally, I'm going to make the transparency 30% so some of the background texture shows through and it makes it a dark grey. So now I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate and I'm going to show you how you can change that shape directly in PowerPoint. You can go to Shape Format, Edit Shape, Change Shape. We're going to change that to a triangle. That's great. Control D again. And we're going to change that shape to a square. I'm going to go Edit, Change Shape, pick Rectangle. Great. There's a really quick way of changing shapes and using Control D to duplicate. I'm just going to select all three. Control G to group and just center them on the page. Now I'm going to press Control Shift G to ungroup them. And now we'll show you how to add the morph object tagging. So when we morph between the slides, the shapes will change, which is a really good effect. And you can use it on a lot of things in PowerPoint for great results. And to do this, we'll need the selection pane. We'll go to home on the ribbon, arrange, and here is the selection pane. If we click on the oval and then double click, we can rename it. And the key here is to use two exclamation marks. So I'm going to call this one exclamation mark, exclamation mark, left, my left shape. When you use two exclamation marks, PowerPoint will know that you're referring to the same shape on the next slide. Again, I'll select the triangle, two exclamation marks, and I'm going to call this center. Finally, the square on the right, I'm going to rename it and I'm going to call it exclamation mark, exclamation mark, right. And that's my setup to allow morph object tagging to work correctly. So I'm now going to go to my slide sorter, press control D to duplicate the slide, go to transitions, choose morph. And I'm going to set a shorter duration. I think half a second will be just right for this. So that's my basic setup done. I just need to use the function we used earlier to change the shapes. So I'm going to click on this, shape format, edit shape, change shape. And this is going to be my square, edit shape, change shape. This is going to be my circle, edit shape, change shape. This is going to be my triangle. So we'll just play from the beginning and you'll see the first morph. Brilliant. Just going to do the other three very quickly. Control D to duplicate, quickly change the shapes as we did before. Great, so we now have the full animation. Just quickly play that to check it. So I'm going to duplicate two to four. That gives us seven slides in total. On slides two to six, I'm going to go to transitions. I'm going to make sure 
that the after is ticked on. That means it will auto advance after it's finished the morph. Let's play this back. So there's a great example of how you can use morph object tagging to change between shapes directly using the power of the PowerPoint morph transition. It also showed you some really quick ways of changing shapes in PowerPoint and speeding up your workflow. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.